everyone, this is Rajol2 here, and welcome to episode 3 of Pokemon Ultra Moon. Last time, we explored Iki Town, battled our, battled our rival for the first time, and we also reached Mahalo Trail and saw a mysterious girl walk into a new area. So let's follow her. Man, listen to this music. Hey, it's the girl in that not Kirby Pokemon from before. <laughs> Who are you? Ne never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Okay, that was a terrible impression of Louie, but that, 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 that doesn't matter. <laughs> Pew! Those sparrow are attacking it! But I'm not a traitor! I can't! Alright, so she can't fight. Alright. Alright. So that's actually a reference to the first Pokemon episode of the anime where the spirit attack book, but this is something I like that they changed. You actually have a battle on the bridge. Now, another lesson about effectiveness. Flying super effective against grass. Rowlet is a grass type, but it's also a flying type. So, yeah. So, also, Grass is, I believe, not very effective against flying. I'm gonna use Growl to lessen its attack damage. Pursuit, if you're wondering what type that was, that was a dark type move. I'm gonna use Tackle, which is a normal type move. Normal type is not effective against, not super effective against anything. Now I did find out what the impish nature means. It's minus attack plus defense, and I'm pretty sure that Rala is a physical attacker, so that's actually pretty good. And defense is also pretty good. Okay, I think. I'm not all that adept at competitive rally people. Besides, this isn't for, like, super competitive know-it-alls of Pokemon. This is for newbies, or not. Just for your en entertainment. So this is a pretty boring battle. But it's made better by the fact that I'm explaining stuff. Alright. So, this second wild Pokemon battle is getting annoying. Tackle. Now, the beginning of the game with Route might be the slowest, but it does get pretty good. Equal level. And they actually exp explain why the bridge is breaking apart. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! I thought there was three of them in one cave. Why are these? Why are there still three? Okay. Yes, or we would have probably had an actual death in a Pokemon game. Sorry, kids, I just said the word death. But 
he almost fell like 30 feet into water that's right next to a water farm. There's tons of rocks around. So, also got saved by Top of Coco, which means guardian chicken. We got saved by a chicken. Pew! Oh, oh thank goodness! You tried using your powers again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened the last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. Yeah, three months. I don't want to see it like that again. So yeah, if you noticed, this is that girl from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah, she actually meant something. And we meet her early on. What are... No. I'm not going to make the joke. I know you're trying to save me that time, but... And I couldn't even help you in the turn. You. What? What is that? Pew pew. Big sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Man, that theme. Just listen for this for a second. Well, since we know the coon as a boy and she's a girl, who are you? I'm, I'm Lily. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. Say, that's one, uh, jelly-looking beanie stone. Please, don't tell anyone about this about seeing Nebby. It, it's a secret, okay? Yeah, then have the bridge break. Into the bag, Nebby. Memes. Yes, because putting them in an airtight bag is much better than putting them into a Pokeball, which probably filters out air and gives them probably a better experience. Run the Pokeball. Boy, we might actually get attacked by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you can see us back to town? Alright. As we can see, the bridge is broken. Man, that's like some cloud effects and not water, but yeah. See, there's the waterfall. So. Now this game, I'll, I'll get into it later. Actually, I'll get into this now. This game is a semi-remake of the previous game. It's kind of like the third version, except split into two. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm playing Ultra Moon. It's okay. My only one problem is that because of its development time, I will point out some of the things that, well, let's just say they didn't change. That should have been. We'll point that out after another battle with Hal on the next island, but we're way too early in the game for that. So let's get back to this. She's my assistant, yeah. Yeah, sure, your assistant. Also, he lives on a different island than his wife seems to work, sure. Billy, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala, he said he had something to attend to, so he left the town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail when I waited for him to turn. And that's how you met your own new neighbor, River, huh? He got to a lowly yesterday, helped him find his way around, yeah? Nice to meet you. The Kahuna's back, the Kahuna Hall has returned. Got him to eat his trust on his back. Swing Pokemon Traders in Lowly, yeah? That's kind of cheesy, but okay. It's yellow Santa Claus. No, I'm being serious. I mean, look at them. Look at him. It's yellow Santa Claus. The Japanese and I'm guessing Hawaiian inspiration. Have I something? 
There you are, Kahunahala. Was I in some kind of trouble? Uh huh. Just got caught up in the middle with some brawling rock ruff, that's all. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? I remember I thought I saw a type of cocoa flying about. Oh, um. Yes, Kahunahala. <laughs> To save you. Kukui, my boy, I think that we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trader in our midst. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, still coughing from last episode. Glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Manamedley Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had taught me a I told me of your coming. Yes, yellow Santa Claus. Even though Santa Claus doesn't exist, but yes, it's a yellow Santa Claus. I'm probably just gonna refer him to that like the entire game. Pew! Oh, when did you get out again? Forge had a new future in this game. What'd I get? It's a Pokedex with eyes and a nose, and it like has like feet and I wonder what that's foreshadowing. A Pokedex is a real high tech kind of tool, yeah. That can automatically report facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner rally is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. Should have registered others. Trainer passport that I had put together for you. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, River? Alright, so there's the Kahuna. You can work in harmony with each other. You can go anywhere together. Together forever. Oh yeah, River, hold up a sec. Oh, it's how? What's it? How did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll and they sing without saying a word, huh? Hmm. Yes, completely change the conversation so you don't have to deal with your actions. Totally something that a uh, elderly, brilliant, strong trainer would do. Who also raises a child? Partially. Sure. I totally buy that. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Top Coco at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, River? Yeah, it rescued me. It's like some sort of special thing now, does it? So it even decided to give you a son. Wait. Dang. It even again? I think it's a typo. Perhaps you are here in Alola River because this is where you are meant to be. We know that destiny doesn't exist, dude. Let me devour this stone for now. For it not, I'll return to you tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trader. I can see that light within you. You do it, you... You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe, though, to Gay River. Lily, you should come with us, too. Yeah. Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You were that precious Pokemon of yours. <laughs> Okay, I didn't that laugh. Yes, I will keep an eye on. Pew. <laughs> really doesn't look that bad. Oh, you. Would you try not to skip the very moment that I told you you are not to wander off?
Let's come back, Weaver. Yeah, there's a bug on the floor. Okay, so what do you think of Hunahala? Oh, and look what you got with you. Okay, I'm gonna say it. This is probably the second worst um, as a bomb in the game besides for, well, the, can the, the Kanto bomb. She's, she, she's just, she's a horrible parent. Came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Even though she is from Kanto, so I guess this is like brain ingrained into their minds. Right there on Route 1. Oh, one. And it must have saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. Let's see, will Meowth still give us the thing? Nope. Alright, so. Oh yeah, I forgot to check on this last time. Our gym leader and Kendra, they were good luck. I want to know which gym leader. Alright, let's leave the ring. Oh yeah, we never got a chance to explore this. We have your mom's room. Empty drawers. Empty this. Uh, empty clothes. A meal toy. Okay. One thing I miss from this game is the ability to sit on benches, but that's okay. We yeah, have we have kitchen. Glass top, electric stove. You can cook right on its smooth surface. Yeah, that's right, folks. We're not in the 90s. Alright. We're in the 80s. Hey there, River. It's about time we set up for the festival. Yeah. But first, I got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all basics. Come on to Route One. Also, apparently, she doesn't unpack any boxes until you finish the game or something. She's like lazy times a million. Use your agility. Wait, time for another. Looks like been what? Almost an hour. <laughs> We're just getting to the tutorial. Not, but you can also try and catch him. Woo! That's a wild Pokemon, right? Keep your eyes on the prize. And the prize, then. Rat, rat. All right. Here's the tutorial. You tackle. All right. First, you have to weaken up. Then you go to. Bag, go to Pokeballs, best Pokeball, use, oops, this is very important. This is how we will be adding new team members to our game. Uh, 
and this will not be a 100% playthrough, by the way. It will not be trying to catch everything. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, actually. Who knows? Alright, got myself a grubbin. If it was Sinnoh, that would be a whole other story, because all I have to really do is battle everyone. Pokeballs. Ten Pokeballs. On your way to Ricky Town, yeah? Take your real rubber. Okay. So he's going over here. Now I have to warn you, the first Pokemon you will ever encounter will always be a Grubbin. If it will pop up, here we go. Yeah, it will always be a Grubbin. But I am not going to use a Grubbin on my team, so guess what we're going to use it for? leveling up because that's what we need to do oh that was a crit vice grip yep i know this is kind of boring but it's like the beginning of the game trust me it's much more fun when you're playing it for yourself so, if you are playing along, then that's good. Alright. Oh, we have a... Oh man. Alright, time to introduce another new feature. We have Pokemon Refresh. I'll let this thing explain for itself. What you can do is you can feed them poke beans. Yay! You can pet them. Certain spots they'll either like or they will hate. Or they'll just regularly like. And, yeah. This is basically it. You can have a lot of fun, funny moments with this. I mean, look at Rowlet. He's, I mean, she's so cute. I mean, look at that little bow tie. Anyway, let's get back to gameplay. That isn't just fooling around with your Pokemon, which I know plenty of you will be doing. So this is the Pokedex. I have Rowlet. Yeah, grass mine type grass quill Pokemon. And it's from it, it's in English language. Yep. And this is becoming a fairly long episode. Oh that that's just Alright. Next time we're gonna be going to the Icky Town Festival. See you guys next time. Look at that beautiful sunset. This is Rachel Dew, signing out. Bye.